Prairie Fun Adventures, an ecology magazine for kids. Contents. Bears in summer. The American black bear is very busy during summer months. They use this time to breed and travel, and mother bears usually have two cubs per litter. When they're born, they weigh as little as one pound. The babies will stay with their moms for up to 17 months, but usually travel on their own by the next winter. Fun fact, there's approximately 900,000 American black bears in North America. Summertime diet. They're opportunistic eaters. They eat whatever's available to them each season, like acorns, berries, wild lettuce, and even hazelnuts. And they can consume up to 5,000 calories per day. Bears can be seen taking a dip in the local lake or swimming pool during the summer because their fur coats trap heat and make it hard to cool down. Also, they don't have sweat glands, so they're very limited on ways for cooling. Although they can shed their coat, which was an evolutionary adaptation to its environment. What to do if there's a bear in the pool? If you find a bear sharing your pool, the best things to do is get an adult, then make a lot of noise to ask the bears to leave. Now let's talk about bears in the fall. They don't actually make leaf piles to jump in, even though that would be fun, but they will use leaf litter as hiding spots to sleep. During the fall months, they prepare for hibernation in the winter. Fun fact, hibernation is when an animal slows down all of its metabolic processes in order to conserve energy for the winter. Very strange behavior. During the fall, they'll eat all the time to bulk up for the fasting months ahead. This is important because they need to gain a lot of weight to make it through the winter. They'll mostly eat berries and nuts, but can also eat roots and grass to eat, get as many calories as possible. So what's all this overeating called? Hyperphagia. Hyper what? It's a state of constant eating and having the ability to continue eating even when feeling full. As you can probably imagine, bears are very active in the fall months. It's important for hikers and campers to be aware so they don't have an encounter with one. Bears are extremely intelligent and have been seen opening car doors and even unzipping tents. They don't really want to hurt people, but if you don't watch out, you can find yourself in some hairy situations. Come along to learn about bears in the winter. They spend winter months in a deep hibernation, which depends on the latitude of their home. Their hibernation can take place, take place in rock crevices, underground burrows, and hollow trees. Black bears breed during the summer months, but they don't give birth until January or February, about 60 to 70 days after pregnancy. Fun fact, bears don't eat at all during hibernation because they've already put on enough weight in the summer and fall months. Black bear thermoregulation. Wow, that's a big word. A process that allows your body to maintain its core internal temperature is what thermoregulation is. It's designed to keep your body at a state of equilibrium called homeostasis. Black bears regulate their body temperature during hibernation via thermoregulation, also known as torpor. It's well known that they hibernate, but scientists recently started calling this a state of torpor instead because it means that the bears do not lower their body temperature to match the external temperature. It's basically a long deep sleep where no mental activity is happening and if something were to happen they'd be ready for action if they woke up. Springtime, time to move and to gain back all the weight they lost. Bears, probably like you, are motivated to get out of their beds for food. They'll start traveling, called dispersal in the spring, and are ready to munch on some treats like vegetation and saplings. Dispersal mostly occurs in April when the bears emerge from their dens, but they don't all have the same length of hibernation. Adult males, followed by young males and females, then females with yearling cubs and females with newborn cubs, emerge from the dens. And fun fact, female bears will place their cubs in trees to keep them safe while they forage. Humans can affect bear activities. Dispersal isn't always safe because bears may have to cross roads to get to food or dig in trash cans because they smell human food. Make sure to put trash in a bear-proof can and never leave food sitting outside. 